treatment for a right-on-right -right sacral dysfunction. So, this being our sacrum, rotate it to the right. Um, for patient positioning, I like to remember the mnemonic, deep side down. So, if the sacrum is rotated to the right, that means that the left sacral base will be deeper than the posterior right sacral base. And that deep side, that left side, will be down on the table. And that's why Rohan is laying on his left side. So, to treat this right on right uh, sacral dysfunction, first um, we'll take my hand here um, towards that right sacral base. Once you find that base, we're going to monitor there. Um, using your right arm, we'll engage the rotational axis by tilting the patient's left shoulder back until you feel that axis engaged. From there, um, we're going to extend the patient's legs until you feel motion stop at that right sacral base. So we'll have you extend it up here a little bit more, and then extend back, and right about there, I feel motion stop. So that's how we know we've engaged our barriers. From there, uh, because this is a right on right, uh, sacral dysfunction. There's two R's in right on right, so we'll use two legs to treat. I'll lift up under the heels. We'll have Rohan press down uh, his feet into the table to the count of one, two, three, and then relax. We'll take up the slack, and then again I'll lift the heels. Try and press your heels down into the table to the count of one, two, three, and relax. And I like to repeat this about three to five times. So we'll do one more here. Lifting the ankles and then press them down. So kind of one, two, three. And relax. And then we'll passively um, restore motion there. All right. And that's how you treat a right on right sacral dysfunction. And next we will treat a right on left sacral dysfunction. So again, um, deep side down, Rohan is on his left side. Um, we will find the sacral base in a similar way, um, palpating, finding that right sacral base. Again, we'll engage the rotational axis by rolling his left shoulder back towards the table. This time, uh, we will bring both knees into flexion, the hips rather into flexion, and monitor that sacral base until movement stops. Once it does, we'll pick up the top leg and drop it up and over, and then let it hang off the table. Um, since this is a right on left sacral dysfunction, one of each letter means that we'll use one leg for treatment. That bottom leg will be the treatment leg, and here, um, we will lift his ankle, and then Rohan will have you press towards the table to the count of one, two, three, and relax, taking up the slack, engaging that barrier, and pressing towards the table to the count of one, two, three, excellent, and relax, engaging the barrier, taking up the slack, and one more time, we'll have you press towards the table, count of one, two, three. And relax. Then one last time, taking up that slack, engaging the barrier. Great. And then, um, important, we will reposition the patient here um, so that they are just possibly um, put back into position. And roll the shoulder back. All right, very good. And that is right on left sacral dysfunction treatment. Next, we will treat a right unilateral extension dysfunction. So, sacrum will look more or less like this. Um, that right sacral base will be uh, posterior. So, um, again, we will palpate to find that right sacral base. You can remember um, extension, exhalation. So, if we have an extension unilateral dysfunction, You'll apply pressure towards the heels with exhalation. So I'll have you take a big inhale, Rohan. As you exhale, I'll apply, apply that force. Inhale, I'll hold. Exhale, pressing towards the heels. 
heels. Again, inhale, exhale, flying back. One more inhale as I hold and relax. Okay, and again, you can repeat that three to five times for treatment. All right, and next we will treat a right unilateral sacral flexion uh, dysfunction. So you can think about the sacrum here. Um, here you would have extension, here you have flexion. So for treating uh, sacral unilateral flexion, um, we're going to apply pressure on the ILA in a force up and down. So again, find the sacral base, find the ILA. We're saying this is a right-sided unilateral um, flexion. So I will apply force here on inhalation. So remember, extension, exhalation, uh, flexion, you apply force with inhalation. So I'll have you take a big inhale, and press, exhale, and I'll hold. Inhale, press, exhale, hold. Inhale, press, exhale, hold. One more. So just to recap, um, with extension dysfunctions, you press on the exhale in a force down towards the ground as well as towards the feet. With uh, flexion dysfunction, you press on the inhale with a force uh, towards the head and down towards the ground. And that's all folks. I know that was a lot of information, a lot of diagnoses and treatments, but try to simplify it in your head. Start with a seated flexion test, then go on to check your sacral base and your ILA, see which ones are posterior so you can make the appropriate diagnosis. After you make that diagnosis, do the appropriate treatments and always reassess to make sure that the dysfunction has improved. We hope that helps to clear some of those things up and we'll see you in our next video. Thanks for watching.